Hey, what's going on, guys? Minecraft Tutorials here, and welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can download the hack client called Metro. It's the, um, I think it's the, the, the best, the fifth best out of, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys anyways. So, yeah. So, to start off this video, you need to go to Google like I am right now. And once you're on Google, you can type in wizard hacks. And then the first thing you should see is wizardhacks.com, Minecraft hacks, and Minecraft mods. You press that. And by the way, I'll leave the, this website link down below in the description. And I'll leave the this Wizard Hacks YouTuber YouTuber's channel in the description too. So, yeah. So, once you're on a page like this, you can scroll down and then find Metro. Um, I will scroll down and show you guys that Metro is the best out of notice, Wolfram, Reflex, and Worst. So, yeah, which is why I'm making a video on it. Um, so, it might, some of you guys might want it out there. So, yeah. So, now all you need to do is find Metro. Mine, uh, it should be right there where, where, where my mouse is pointing to. You press it. And note that this is 1.8.4. So, yeah. So, now all you need to do is uh, you can either click download there, download there, or download here. So, I'm just going to click this download. You can click any download that I just showed you guys, but yeah, they will bring you to add files, so don't worry. So now all you need to do is wait five seconds when it brings you to add fly, and then scroll down. Once you're on a page like this, you can either learn more. Everything's right here, and these are all the cheats for it, which is why it's a really good hack client. So yeah, you can either click download. It's a shortcut to go all the way down to the bottom of the page so yeah you can click right now the download the current build and then it brings you to add fly I don't want to press any of this stuff don't do anything here guys okay now all you need to do is wait five seconds you can press skip add now and then it brings you to a page called double parallax or something like that right here you, you click nothing up there you just click metro 5.2 you click that and then a separate virus page should come up. You just exit out of that and go into the real one. Because that keeps happening for me. So I'm just letting you guys know if it happens for you. So now you press skip add. <sighs> okay. Now it brings you to mega. You have to wait until this mega circle loads. And then it brings you to Mega right here, and then you need to press download to your computer, and then you press that, and then it loads. Um, once it was downloaded, you press open folder, and then it brings you to uh, it brings you to your downloads uh, folder. But I have I already have one, and mine is right there. So what you need to do now is drag it to your desktop, like I have right there. And then now all you need to do is press the Windows key or NQ and then something like this should pop up for Windows 8. And then for Windows 7, something on the left side of the screen should pop up. I'll leave a picture right now on your screen. Like that should pop up. And um, yeah, guys. So uh, on Windows 7, you just write percentage, update a percentage. And on Windows 8, you can either do that or on Windows 7 too, you can either click the Windows key and R or the windows key sorry guys or the windows key and q so i would pick the windows key and r right now and then all you need to write here is percentage percentage a p p d a t a percentage and then you press enter and then uh, it brings you to a folder called roaming you can press dot minecraft right now and then you have to navigate all the way until you find your folder versions mine is right there you click that once you find it and then wherever you put your metro um uh fo folder like any like wherever you put it i put mine on my desktop i will open it up and then drag that metro folder to the versions folder and then all you need to do now is exit out of everything and put this there if you want and now all you need to do is open up your minecraft so yeah so that's your minecraft load and then I'm using the latest version, I think. Yeah, I am. You need to scroll all the way down until you find Release Metro. Mine is right there. And then you press Play. Yours shouldn't take that long. So, yeah, we'll just have to see and wait. 
uh, I don't know why mine's not loading. It usually loads pretty fast. So, yeah. Okay, there it is. It's loading. By the way, guys, I got GTA 5 for PC. Tell me if you want videos for that. And, yeah, guys. Okay, now all you need to do is go to the Metro settings once you're on Metro 1.8. You go to the metro settings, then you, you click down here, GUI keybind, you press that, and then you scroll down until you find metro. Yours should be R-Shift, change it to whatever button you want, or leave it as R-Shift. I changed mine to G, and then you can just go in a single player world and test everything out. So, I'm in a single player world right here. Now, all I can do is press the button that you set it to. I set mine to G, so I'll press that. And something like this should pop up. You can press this to leave it on your screen. But I wouldn't do that because sometimes it interferes if you're playing PvP or something. So yeah. Now all you need to do is just press the circle and then all of these sh should come up. It has combat, misc, movement, player, render, world, theme, active mods, radar, recent, options, settings, tab, GUI. And yeah, that's pretty much all it has. You can, you can th this is all you have for combat. Uh, movement, you can fly, fly, now I'm flying, as you can, as you guys can see, I'm flying right now, and, by the hey, I'll even show you proof, if I, like, sorry about that, if I get out of it, okay, and I'll even go to survival mode and show you this is totally legit, and then I'll go on it again, and I'll press fly, and you guys will see that I'm in I'm in survival world and I can take damage too. So yeah, that's pretty much all it has. I'm gonna take all this back now. Movement render world theme options tap settings tap you and yeah. That's pretty much all it has for this hack client. It's a really cool hack client. I would get it if I was you. Sorry about that. I would actually get it. It's pretty cool. It's actually really good for PvP too. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please tell me um, if it helped you or not. And yeah, guys, tell me if you want GTA 5 videos. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and peace. So yeah, thanks for watching and enjoy the video, guys. Peace out.